a warm welcome to the AW Services YouTube channel. This short video, well I hope it's going to be short, is a video covering the Uniden UBC125XLT scanner. So if you're using a scanner, you're new to using a scanner as a hobby to listen to marine, civil, military, aviation, etc. PMR walkie-talkies, business simple radios, then this video might help you to program your scanner. Scanners can be quite overwhelming when you first receive one is new. There's quite a few buttons on the front. There's only one knob on the top and it can be difficult to for, for others really to program them because you've only got certain keys to use and then you've got to um, press a cursor to move to the next letter. But some software that I'm going to show you in this video makes that a lot easier. And if you want to get yourself some radios and some scanners and have yourself a little radio shack in the corner of your room, your bedroom, your home office, you can utilize your laptop or your PC to actually make your scanner a bit more physical and more present by using your laptop screen to actually control its functions and its capabilities. So Scan125 is the software that you see on the center of my screen. It's free to download. I'll place a link in the description of this video to where you can download this software. It's made by a gentleman called Nick Bailey. So credit to Nick Bailey for that. And this does work with the Uniden Uniform Bravo Charlie 125 X-Ray Lima Tango Scanner. So ensure your scanner has fresh batteries in it. It's turned on. You've got an antenna or aerial connected to that on the BNC and you've got your USB cable connecting your scanner to your laptop or home PC and your software will recognize that. Mine comes up here, if you can see the cursor, in COM port 4, just above the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You'll see it's connected, COM port 4. So moving up to the upper right hand side of the screen here, you've got scan search service bank settings. So you service banks, emergency, free net, PMR, marine, aircraft, CB radio and ham radio are all ticked. Going over search banks, one to 10 are all clicked and scan banks, one to 10 are all clicked. Providing you've done that, this will make it easier. So your scanner's brand new, there'll probably be nothing on your scanner. Mine is connected and it's now come up with a page with all of my saved frequencies and name tags. So if you've gone onto Facebook, onto some of the scanner forum groups, or you've got friends that are existing scanner users and they've given you an A4 notepad full of frequencies they've written down, you'll want to put those in, onto your scanner. Doing it by holding your scanner in your hand and your scanner only, can be quite time consuming and quite difficult to understand how to do it. But this method on the screen now is very simple. So bank name tag, you can leave that blank. Don't touch any of the numbers down the side. You don't need to put anything in scan, uh, sorry, in bank name tag. Channel, that will be automatic. Leave that as it is channel name tag so you can write in here click on it and you can enter a name so you've got like nato low level frequency zero three four one decimal five seven five oh you'll always need to ensure there's always zero at the start of your numbers so you'll probably get a load of pages of numbers written down, three, four, one, but you'll need to ensure that that zero here stays in front. You needn't worry about modulation, AM, FM, that will automatically be detected. Don't worry about any of the CTCSS codes or anything or boxes here. CD value, don't worry about that. Leave that completely blank. Leave the delay as the two preset. You needn't worry about 
any of the lockouts. Don't worry about any of the priorities or any of the selects. So once you've gone in, you've typed in the name of your, what your scanner frequency is, the frequency, and that will save it. And then that's done. And you just keep writing them in. Once you've done that, you can then minimize this screen it's back to the main um, profile screen here and then you can load those onto your scanner by pressing the tab second from the left on the top highlighted load scanner settings click on that go to your preset which is your notepad and then you can open that or if somebody kindly sends you a document uh, text file which they've compiled with all of those settings on there you can load those directly onto your scanner in a very foul simple move so load scanner settings scanner presets 23 may 2024 press open and that will automatically dump all of that onto your scanner and once you've done that just press save scanner settings and then type in what it is and then you can save that on your laptop as well so you've always got a backup and then in the center of the screen where the orange amber box is that is a duplicate of what the scanner screen is showing you can then press you can do search for example so you can actually search this is where a lot of people now I'll just mute that so you don't hear it where a lot of people get into the hobby they'll automatically want to have a hobby in a box so that so they buy a scanner they've either paid someone silly money at a radio online shop to pre-program a load of presets in there half of which you won't even be able to receive where you live so the best thing is to search it's more exciting it's more fun so the way a scanner works, it's basically a radio receiver. And what it does, it will scan between a lowest and a highest point. When I say that, for example, you can have 28 megahertz is your absolute lowest point. You can get up to 600 megahertz and save those two numbers or search between like just by pressing search and that will just keep scrolling through until it finds something when you find something press the hold button and write that down so three four decimal eight one five zero you can write that in your notepad you can create a whole list of not scanner settings again and then load that into your scanner but then once you have filled up with your scanner with all your presets that you've got from all the facebook groups all you need to do is press the scan button and that will scroll through until something is on the air and it will just play it if the signal is not very good you can just skip it until it finds something else like so but you can also just mute that so you've got scanner settings here on the left hand side scanner general control so you can control your volume you've got squelch recommend keeping that between two and three contrast yep that's your discretion it's just the contrast of the scanner screen i've got my backlight always on and it will charge as well but it will charge really slowly so make sure you've got some good quality batteries an additional battery charger and you can do it that way um, make sure you've got all your bands tick vhf low aircraft blah 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 but that is the very easy and simple way of how to load frequencies onto your scanner and how to download things off of your scanner. So you might have a friend that's already got a scanner. If he lends it to you or gives it to you while you're at your house, you can plug it in, copy all of his settings, save them and then give it back to them. But that's the most simplest way of actually utilizing and using your scanner to add frequencies to it then you can also use this as your radio shack screen and it makes it a bit more interactive and then once you get to know your scanner a bit more you can start using close call and priority modes 
you may also want to get an SDR dongle and use that as well and then also when you are using your scanner you can also if you wanted to bring up things like ADSB on your screen and then you can have that in the background while your scanner's on and then you can see what aircraft are transiting where you live like you see what military you've got etc but that's basically a video on how to use that if you've enjoyed the video and you found it helpful give the video a thumbs up subscribe support the channel help it grow press the bell icon for notifications when new videos are um, put up online Sh leave a comment share it with your friends and i hope that's helped you but thank you very much for watching aw services